As you know, after our first date, I knew you were the man I was going to marry. What I didn't know was how much of a journey it would be to get to this moment. Nothing worth having is easy. In the last three years, we have had our fair share of hardships, individually and together as a couple. God's given us each trial as an opportunity for sanctification, growth, understanding, undoubtedly preparing us for this new chapter of our lives. Though our relationship has been far from easy, our love for each other has been simple. I fell hard for you, your kind eyes, your beautiful beard, <laughs> your clever wit, your thoughtfulness, your knowledge of all things Star Wars, and your overall charisma. Through the years, I have watched you grow and change into a man you are today, into the man you are today. A man that I can say without a doubt, I'm proud to call my husband, a man I respect, and a man I trust. You have always been my biggest encouragement, encourager. You have taught me to break out of my shell and go after what I want in life without letting the fear of the unknown stop me. Because of you, I take time out of my day to make sure my socks are matching. <laughs> you combat my stubbornness with your stubbornness. You have shown me patience and forgiveness most times when I didn't deserve it. You are my call, my best friend, my home. Today I become one with you. I vow to encourage you and push you to inspire you get all and in your always space. be in your corner. Right to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle to celebrate with you in times of happiness, and to love you loyally and fiercely in the foreknowledge of joy and pain, strength and weariness, direction and doubt, and most importantly, during hunting season. <laughs> I will laugh at your puns as if they were my own. I will think before I speak and have the patience that love demands. I will not keep score but accept you through all your strengths and faults and remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I vow this, all this to you and to you knowing that none of it can be fulfilled through my own strength but only in the strength, grace, and love God provides me with. Also, <laughs> if you were captured by Boba Fett, <laughs> frozen in carbonite, and hand it over to Jabba the Hutt. I'd save you. I love you. This is gonna be hard. Greta, when I met you, I didn't know exactly what unconditional love meant. But being with you the last three years has taught me everything that it is, and it's taught me everything about me that I just never realized about myself. I knew I was falling hard for you the first time we met and we talked over dinner about Asia Ultron and how they messed up the origins of Ultron. <laughs> through that and through everything, you've become my best friend. The last three years have had our fair share of ups and downs, but we've gotten through it and we've always come out stronger. And because of that, it shows me how much you truly do love me and never given up on me, even in times I wanted to give up on myself. I'm all right. <laughs> the next chapter for us is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be stressful and it's gonna be hard at times, but it's gonna be great because we can get through it together. I vow that I'm never gonna give up on you just like you never gave up on me. That I'm always gonna love you when times are hard and times are good. Even when we disagree about Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj, or when we go see Star Wars and we're our own harshest critics on how those movies turn out. <laughs> I vow that I'll always love you and I'll only grow, in, or my love will only grow more and more with each and every passing day. And that with you we'll pursue Christ together and our love of God together so we can further our Christianity and our faith. I vow to always be your best friend. And even in times when I'm frustrated and I know you just need someone to pick you up, that I'll be there right to do it. And that I'll always encourage you. And I'll, I'll, no, you're good. To always take Excellent. your advice soundly. Stop procrastinating. 
and just listen to you because some good amount of time you're right and I should just listen to you <laughs> off the get-go. I'm about to be there even if, if you get sick or illness falls on us and tell you to take garlic. <laughs> Most of all, I vow to just be your home, your state, your security, and be responsible for you and take care of you and everything we do, no matter what, and always put you first in my life. You said I love you in the words of Han Solo. I know, <laughs> but this is the big thing. I never really wrote them down. <laughs> That's why I kept telling you I was putting them off. <laughs> oh. Because I knew I was going to do this the whole time. So you, you procrastinated? No, I didn't procrastinate. Oh, you I just didn't just, know what you felt. No, I knew what I was going to do. Oh, you I, didn't read? No, I just oh. spoke it from the heart. That's the whole thing. I knew I was going to write that down I the whole time. That. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well. Well, he's genuine. <laughs> I'm not just looking up stuff on Pinterest. I didn't look it up on Pinterest. <laughs> Love you.